much. I actually, at the start of the year, I was hoping to do the Auckland 70.3 in my, in my hometown in New Zealand. Uh, two days before the race, a car door opened into me when I was out riding and I fell off my bike. I suffered, suffered a concussion, um, which took me out of the Auckland 70.3 and also caused me not to finish Ironman New Zealand later on in the year. So coming back into, into the year, I, I really, Vegas, Las Vegas World Championships was my main focus and I really, really wanted to do well there. So I, I, yeah, basically the rest of the rest of my year was focused around performing in Vegas. I managed to get a few good races. Second at the ITU Long Course World Championships. Uh, first at Florida 70.3 and first at Mont 70.3 and uh, a few seconds, a few thirds. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just really happy to be racing back at the top of my game and, and fighting for that top position on the podium. It caused me to relook at my training, relook at my body, relook at at my strengths and weaknesses, and and uh, I used that to to help develop me into a better athlete. And and I think I'm I'm a better athlete now than what I was before I had my Achilles surgery two years ago. And I I think I feel I have a better understanding on how to race well at Ironman distance and uh, and be an even better 70.3 athlete. So I'm looking forward to next year. Uh, a couple more races this year. Hopefully, I can finish the finish the year strong, and then next year, hopefully, I can just take take my performances uh, a level forward. The tough thing is with all the 70.3 races. The, I mean, five years ago, there weren't that many good athletes, but now nowadays, there, every race you go to has half a dozen great athletes, and and it really makes brings out the top performance in each individual racing against so many good 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 professionals and uh, well sometimes I, I don't like it sometimes I'd like to have an easy race but most of the time it's it's great to have a tough race and and for me today here at Miami 70.3 it was it was just awesome to be able to cross the finish line in first place uh, <laughs> it's very kind of Macca to say I'm one of the most talented athletes I uh, I mean Macca's a good friend of mine and I think he was only saying that because we're good friends um, I, I, I strongly. It wasn't until my Achilles surgery that that I realised how much uh, the mental side of things plays plays a big role in, in the sport of triathlon. It doesn't matter what distance you're racing, uh, but it, that mental side of things seems to be magnified when you race Ironman distance. Uh, if, you, if you're not in zone, not in touch, not in control mentally, you you can't be a good Ironman athlete. And, and I've had to work at that coming back into the 70.3 races after my injuries uh, and I think mentally I've, I've taken several steps forward. Uh, I haven't been, still haven't been able to test myself over a full distance Ironman but I'm uh, looking forward to doing that down in New Zealand, Neutral Grain Ironman New Zealand in, uh, in Lake Taupo in March next year. Maybe see you in Brazil next year? Uh, I'd love to come back to Brazil. I did Penar 70.3 last year, and I had a great time. Uh, I, I, I hope, I really do hope to, to come back next year. I know uh, Brazil Triathlon is really developing. There's another 70.3 and, and a second Ironman in Brazil, and hopefully next year I can, I can put one of them into my schedule.